You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some fry balls. Hello, Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube. Welcome to the Diecast News Show, hosted by me, Original Big Rye. And uh, we got some great new Diecast that just came in stock a couple days ago. Uh, had to wait for the pictures, uh, the official pictures to come out from Plan B Sales. And now um, it's official now. So uh, we got a lot of great new Diecast that came out, including the. Hi, the most highly anticipated diecast for 2014 and you'll find out what it is as the diecast news starts now but first hearing the best selling diecasts that were from our 100th episode of the diecast news Alright guys, so that mostly does it for any uh, for all the uh, diecast news updates out there. But we're gonna get into a little more detail of everything that just came out. Uh, got a lot of new pre-orders that came out. Sadly, all of them are all in the new mold. Very, very sad to see. However, the most uh, highly anticipated diecast 2014 has finally arrived. And uh, before it was released, uh, before it was, it went to public release, it has been on Junior Motors' website and has been on stock for a couple weeks now. So, uh, uh, if you guys saw on our Diecast News, uh, Facebook page, uh, someone posted on there. So, uh, thank you. I can't remember who your name was, but, uh, thank you for posting that. It's, uh, <sighs> for any Diecast collectors out there. But yeah, the most highly anticipated Diecast is finally out in your public dealers. The Dale Arn Jr. 2014 Daytona 500 win. Definitely a really great race. Definitely going to be a very nice car to have to any uh, diecast collectors out there. Or uh, definitely will make your collection much more uh, special and spectacular. Yeah. And we also got a lot of new pre orders as well. Uh, uh, great new scenes that have came out. And a uh, I do, uh, there's something new for the pre-orders, if you guys kind of catched it. The Chase for the Cup cars, and they are going to be out, all of them are going to possibly be out in October. Uh, I have no idea if they're going to make all 16 cars once we find out. Uh, but, uh, these are, but they are making the cars uh, for the guys who are already confirmed that, the Chase. So, 
Yeah, and uh, the the cool little features that uh, these cars have on uh, that, that these uh, chase cars have, uh, I'll point out some little features that these cars have that make them a little more unique than our standard release uh, 164s. First off, uh, gotta love the yellow. There's a yellow roof number on top with a yellow window visor and a yellow sliver. So can't get enough yellow right there. Uh, and uh, I was, uh, I think a lot of people were definitely wondering how was that gonna work out on uh, Joey Logano's car and Jimmy Johnson's car, but you guys saw the pictures, you saw how they found out. I'm not really gonna go into detail, but it, uh, you can see the differences right there of how they uh, figured out to put the yellow roof numbers on a yellow car and such like that. So uh, glad I now fixed that and that no wonder it took so long for the, the renders to come out for McDonald's car. But uh, yeah guys, and it also comes with a uh, where the Smart Cup logo is, is replaced by a Chase with a Cup logo. Uh, I'm not really going to give my opinions on the Chase, I'm uh, not really going to say my opinions on it, uh, everyone's styles of their opinion. I'm not a big fan of it, but that's all I got to say, uh, yeah, <laughs> but anyways, uh, tell me what you guys think of the Chase, do you think it's uh, going to be good, or are you kind of skeptical as me about this, but um, yeah, and uh, we only have one canceled, I guess, but that's a good thing, but not been a good year for Ray Biffle, especially since he's going to be losing his 3M sponsor at the end of this year, so um, yeah, Roush kind of going downhill, especially with the diecast that came out. That, that that had been canceled. Sorry about that. And now we're gonna get to some news from our good friends at Spin Master. See what they've been up to. Hopefully you guys are gonna wake up for this one. If you guys didn't get that pun, well, uh, hopefully it will. Uh, I'm trying to think of a lame ass pun, but uh, and it's not really quite working out. Anyways, well, I'm trying to go for that to, to uh, wake your socks up. Uh, the uh, I'm so I know the Spin Master. Uh, that this was back in uh, late July-ish, so I am a little late on this, I apologize for that, but really wanted to get this out. Uh, they are going to be making the Austin Dillon Cheerios and the Carl Edwards Kellogg's 164s. I believe that's going to be on the next wave, which I will be looking forward to see that, not to be a little biased, since I do like Austin Dillon and Carl Edwards. But uh, really looking forward to uh, the Carl Edwards car, because that is a Spin Master exclusive, because I know. Um, cannot make the 164s because of Kellogg's special request. If you guys uh, don't know about that, I mean, you guys probably know this, but if you guys don't know about that, back in 2013 when the Gen 6 car, when uh, Lionel was making, uh, you know, the new diecast for the Gen 6, a uh, Kellogg special requested, I believe, to not make 164s and to have all their 124s that have Kellogg's as the main sponsor to have a uh, a plastic base on it. That's why you see plastic bases on the uh, Richmond win and then the soon to be released Bristol win. Kind of sucks, but I'm looking forward to that 164. That will be that will be a great uh, addition to any car lovers fans. Could be a good race version as well. It's a uh, shout out to my boy NASCAR D48. Makes awesome customs. Once that car comes out, I'll be looking forward to have them making me a good Bristol win custom. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, uh, and also, Spin Master, I almost forgot about this, Spin Master also released a couple of weeks ago. If you guys thought three packs were out enough, guess what, Spin Master's going even more bigger and thinking that uh, inside the box. They are coming out with five packs. That's amazing right there. Uh, that, that is uh, definitely, because the three packs were definitely worth all the time and money to get on. But now, five packs. The only downside about it is going to be at Toys R Us. And for an 18 year old like me going at a Toys R Us store, I don't think that's really going to quite work out. But, uh, you know, uh, Spin Master's done a great job this season, and they've done a lot more better than I know. And just uh, creating new stuff like this is just really going to get them up, up, up. So uh, keep it up with the uh, multiple packs coming out. Who knows? Maybe we could have a 10 pack car. Who, who the hell knows? I mean, Spin Master's did a great job with um, handling their diecast. Although, possibly shipping wise, they're not really doing too well as some guys still haven't even gotten Gen 6 cards yet. You know, but uh, it is what it is, I guess. Anyways, guys, I'm probably going to wrap this up. That was mostly it for the Diecast News. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a good comment, like, and uh, 
If you guys have not already, subscribe for more on the Diecast News or anything Diecast out there. Uh, once again, guys, I just got to thank you guys for all your support from last week's video. And uh, a lot of you guys really wanted uh, the after show, the uh, my little spoof of uh, um, the Diecast Review Show's uh, uh, post show. I did a little parody of that, the Poof Show. And a lot of you guys really want to do that. So, uh, heck, I'm going to go for it, guys. Uh, if you guys want to ask me any questions, go right ahead. It could be anything what it is. It could be NASCAR related, racing related, or it could be anything out of the blue. All right, because I kind of handled it last time, and you guys uh, really enjoyed it. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for all your support. Uh, hopefully, as time goes on, I will definitely uh, make this possibly the one of the best rival sources guys so just <sighs> thank you guys so much for all your support and uh see you guys next time we have the diecast news for any more diecast to come so uh so long everybody